Welcome to my second lesson, which is also the last lesson on three-dimensional geometry. In a previous lesson, I took you through uh, the definitions of skew lines, the projection of a line on a plane, and an angle between a line and a plane, and lastly, the angle between two planes. In this particular lesson, I won't take you through the application of these ones by trying out actual examples. I have three comprehensive examples, which I hope they'll be able to, um, they'll be helpful for you, so that you know how to apply this concept. And so. Uh, let's begin. To start us off, we have an example here. We have um, a cuboid of some kind, and you're given questions. Find the angle between the lines UR and UW. Again, uh, find the angle between the lines PQ and PV. Find the angle between the planes PQWT and UVWT. Again, I should mention that as we try all of these examples, we are going to use a concept that I introduced in the first lesson. Let's begin. The angle between the lines uh, UR and UV. Um, the line UR is the longest diagonal in the cuboid from U to R, and UV is a diagonal from U, sorry, U to W is angle from U to W as it's shown there. Now, um, to illustrate this further, since we are given, we are told to look for the angle between the lines UR and UV, sorry, UR and UW, it is that angle that I'm indicated there, and I have extracted for you in a right angle triangle below here. So we have UR and UW, the angle between the two of them is that one. That's what you're looking for. Now, to begin, uh, to begin, we need to look for the distance U to W. By the distance UW, you can only get it by using Pythagoras theorem. Use um, UV squared plus VW squared. We have 4.5 squared plus 8 squared. Square root of that, you get the answer is um, 9.18 so the distance from u to w is 9.18 we're now going to use a trigonometric ratio to operate and therefore we say tan theta that is tan of the angle that you're looking for is the opposite of our adjacent so it's 6 over 9.18 and therefore you look for the tan inverse of that and the angle we wanted is 33.17 degrees the next part of the question, we're told to look for the distance, uh, sorry, the angle between PQ and PV. So again, PV, sorry, we have PQ is that line there, PQ, and we have PV is a diagonal from P to V. Please notice that uh, U, sorry, um, VQ or QV and uh, PQ are perpendicular to each other, and therefore um, PV is a hypotenuse of that, and therefore the angle we're looking for is the angle between those two lines there, and it's indicated. Now, therefore, we need to be able to see a right angle triangle. The angle between PQ and PV is this angle here, where the lines PQ and uh, QV are perpendicular sides of a right angle triangle. There we, therefore, we're going to use, um, again, trigonometry to operate. And so I'm going to say tan theta, that is tan of the, the angle we're looking for, is the opposite of adjacent, which is uh, 6 over 4.5, which is 1.3 recurring. Tan inverse of that would be 53.13. And therefore, there goes our, our operation. So that's how we get the angle between PQ and PV. We go to the last question. You're told to look for the angle between the planes PQWT and UVWT. Now, as we operate this, we are supposed to imagine a lot. Since we have the figures drawn for us in two-dimensional plane, let me say that because our screen is not three-dimensional, but they're representing a three-dimensional object. So please imagine so that you can be able, for instance, to see the planes P, Q, W, T. Now, let me say this. Uh, we have a plane P, Q, we're moving from P straight across to Q, then diagonally to W, then across to T, some point there, and back to P. It's a rectangle, but it appears like a parallelogram for us. Again, we have a plane U, V, W, T, which is, I think, easier to see. It's the bottom of the base of the cuboid. So th we are asked to look for the angle between those two. Remember, th the de definition for angle between two planes is normally the angle between two lines, which are simultaneously perpendicular to the line of intersection of the two planes. And therefore, I have extracted these ones for you alongside here. First of all, we have the plane uh, P, Q, uh, W, T. We also have the plane, um, that one, which is uh, U, V, W, T again. All right. 
there is a line of intersection of the two planes which is the line TW and it's dropping that green dotted line between the two planes therefore the angle we're looking for is the angle PTU it also can be looked at as, as though it's angle QWV because those sets of lines that's a QW and VW or PT and UT they are simultaneously perpendicular to the line of intersection of the two planes. They are both of them perpendicular to T. Actually, the four lines are perpendicular to the line to T, T, W. And therefore, the angle we're looking for can be looked at uh, in any of the two ways. Now, we progress, therefore. Um, we have a right angle triangle, which can be extracted from here. From what we were given from the onset, the, the, the point P... Uh, the, the angle PUT is right angle, that is PUT, T is at the bottom below CS. <laughs> PUT is a right angle triangle, just the same way we can say um, Q, QVW is also right angle triangle. So it's what I have extracted here. The angle we have just got here is the angle at T, where we have the triangle PUT. Therefore, it's just this angle here. And we have the dimensions we are given PU is 6. PU is 6 because the same as the S SR, it's um, um, uh, the, a geometrical, uh, it's um, um, a cuboid, therefore RW is the same as the PU. So there it is. Again, UT is, um, UT is 8, UT is 8, it's the same as the VW, so it is, it's 8 again. Therefore, we say tan theta is equal to 6 over 8, which is 0 0.75, tan inverse of that would be 36.87. And therefore, that answers the question. The angle between the planes P, Q, W, T, and U, V, W, T. I hope that is clear. We go to the next example. So before us is a right pyramid given on your screen. And we're given the questions. Find the, uh, the length uh, of the projection of VA on the plane ABCD. Again, find the angle between VA and a the plane ABCD. And find the angle between the planes VBC and ABCD. And therefore, we start right away. The projection of, the l of, uh, of VA on the plane ABCD. We said earlier that the uh, projection of a line on a plane is the angle, sorry, is the shadow of the plane on Sorry, the projection of a, l of a line on a plane is the shadow of the line on the plane. Therefore, in this given example, the projection of VA on ABCD is a line AO, that shadow there. All right? AO is a shadow, so it's a projection of VA on the plane ABCD. We need to extract the right angle triangle, which is um, I've extracted for you there. We're given some of the dimensions, but uh, there are those that are not given. Since we want to get the distance a O, which is a projection of uh, V A. We are going to first of all um, look for the distance uh, A C, and A C we are going to divide by two so that we get A O. Remember, A O is A to the center, and O to C is also center to C. Therefore, A O is a half of A C. So first of all, we look for the le length A C, which is a 24 squared plus a 18 squared square root of that. Again, we get the distance is 30. That is Pythagoras theorem over there. And therefore, AO is a half of that, which is 15. And we got the answer. The projection of VA on that plane is 15 centimeters. And I hope that's clear. We are now told to look for the angle between VA and the plane ABCD. The angle between VA and the plane ABCD. We said the angle between um, a line and a plane is the angle between the line and its projection on, on, on the plane. Therefore, uh, the angle we're looking for is the angle between the line and its projection, which is that red one there. On the triangle, it's this one, that one. And therefore, uh, we progress as, as follows here. First of all, we need to have the dimensions. VA is 26. It was given. AO, we just found it earlier. It is 15. And therefore, we just write cos of uh, theta. That is cos of this particular angle. is um adjacent of a uh, hypotenuse, which is 15 or 26. And so... We look for the, for the cos inverse and it will be 54.77. And that's that. Let's go to the last question. We're told to look for the angle between the planes VBC and ABCD. So um, as I say that, let's begin by saying the following. Um, we have a plane VBC. VBC is a rectangle, an isosceles rectangle, an isosceles triangle, sorry. It's a triangle, isos um, isosceles triangle and... That one there. Let me repeat it. It is that one. I hope you can see that. It's that that plane there. Again, we have the plane ABCD. That's easy to see. It is uh, the one at the base of the pyramid. 
so the angle between those two planes. We say that the angle between two planes is the angle between uh, two lines, which are simultaneously perpendicular to the line of intersection of the two planes. These two planes intersect along the line BC. If you can get lines which are perpendicular to both, simultaneously perpendicular to BC, the angle between the two lines will be the angle between the two planes. And so we have two lines there, which are simultaneously perpendicular to BC. The line V downwards is perpendicular to BC, and again, O to that point is also perpendicular. Therefore, the angle we're looking for is that angle. That is the angle between the planes VBC and ABCD. And therefore, if we can name this point to be M and extract the triangle as shown here, we are going to be able to look for the angle, since the angle is that one, this angle here. The angle is VMO. We have OM is 12. The reason is because from M to O is a half of B to A, because O is the center. So it is just half of 24, which is 12. But we need to get the distance of either VO or VM. I think VO is easy for us to get because we can use this triangle. Th therefore, I'm going to write VO is uh, 26 squared minus 15 squared squared root of that. So it will be um, 21.24 centimeters. And if I have that dimension, now I can get the angle between VBC and V and ABCD by just using trigonometry. And this is what we do. We write tan theta is equal to 21.24 divided by 12. That is the uh, opposite of um, um, adjacent. Opposite of adjacent and... Um, Find the inverse of that, it will be 60.53 60 uh, degrees. And therefore, we have just concluded that the angle between the planes VBC and ABCD is operated as I have indicated there. Let's go to the last example. So we are given a diagram, a cuboid again. Um, and the questions are, first of all, we are told that T is the midpoint of SR. T is this point here, is a half of um, SR. That means ST is 3 and TR is 3 also. We have to find the length uh, SB, also find the angle between SB and CDSR, and the length AT, and also the angle um, ATD, and therefore we begin. What's the length SB? Now SB is, um, is, a long rec is a long diagonal from S to this point, it's already drawn, which completes a right angle triangle SCB, and I extract it for you below here. SCB, where C is where we have the right angle triangle. SB is this diagonal. We are looking for that, and therefore we, we can operate the follow the question as follows here. First of all, SC will be 10 because it's the diagonal of two perpendicular lines, SR and RC, which are both 6 and 10, which are which are 6 and 8. Therefore, you just get 6 squared plus uh, 8 squared, square root of that, we get SC, which is 10. Um, BC was given 4, so we already have that. And therefore, the distance SB, we just use Pythagoras theorem. I write it's uh, SC squared plus BC squared square root of that. It would be 10 squared plus 4 squared square root of that, which is 10.77 um, meters. The next question was we look for the angle between SB and CDSR. The angle between SB and CDSR. So, what do we do? Um, let me say that the angle between the a line and a plane is actually the angle between the line and its projection on the plane. So the projection of SB on the plane CDSR is the line SC. SC is a shadow of SB on the plane CDSR. Therefore, we are looking for that particular, th there's a plane like that, CDSR, the one I've just drawn or shown there. And we have the line the SB, th that's diagonal that we were given at the beginning. And we have a line SC, which is a shadow of SB on the plane CDSR. And therefore, the angle we're looking for is that red arc there. The angle between is the angle between the line and the projection on the plane CDSR. And therefore, we extract, uh, sorry, uh, I've again indicated for you here. Since uh, it is already seen in this right angle triangle, we can just use it to operate. And therefore, I'm going to use tan again. I'll write that tan of this angle is opposite over adjacent. So 4 over 10, 0 0.4 tan inverse of that would be 21.8 uh, degrees and therefore that gives us the angle between SB and CDSR and therefore that's it. We go to the last part of the question. We are told to look for the length AT. Uh, how do you look for the length AT? We should be able to see a right angle triangle indicated there which is completed by the line TD 
and if I can extract it, we have a triangle of this sort. We have TDA, TDA. We have we have a, a right angle at the point T and uh, at point D, and uh, TA is a diagonal. Therefore, um, again, we know that uh, AD is four meters. AD is four meters. It's the same as BC. And do we know the the length uh, TD? We don't know the length TD. Therefore, we are going to extract another right angle triangle. This triangle. STD. STD is is a right angle triangle at S and ST and uh, SD are perpendicular to each other and therefore we progress as uh, again using Pythagoras theorem and uh, since we know that uh, ST is 3 and SD is 8 DT and uh, TD if you like will be 6 uh, 3 squared plus 8 squared square root of that which will be um, 8.5 Five four meters. Okay, we have used the uh, Pythagoras theorem. We are going to use it again to look for the length at. Now, oftentimes when you're operating questions on three-dimensional geometry, you will need a lot of times to to use Pythagoras theorem and trigonometry. And so there are times you will find yourself using Pythagoras theorem repetitively, like you have done in these two in this question. We're just looking for the length at, but we first needed to look for td. Td is gotten using Pythagoras theorem. And then having gotten TD, we use again Pythagoras theorem to get the length TD. So now uh, I say that um, TD is 8.54. That means TD here is 8.54 and it's the same that on there. Therefore, now we can get the length uh, TA. It is just uh, TD squared plus AD squared. Square root of that will then be 8.54 squared plus 4 squared. Square root of that will be 9.43 meters. I think that's 3. Again, we are told to look for the length, sorry, the angle between... Uh, ATD, the angle ATD. Now, they, d they did not say it is uh, the angle between the line AT and the plane uh, CDSR, but it is. Therefore, we are looking for the angle between the line AT and the plane CDSR, CDSR, which again is angle between the line AT and its projection on ATDR. Okay? Therefore, what is the projection of AT on, on the plane uh, CDS, CDSR? The projection of AT on CDSR is TD. So we are just looking for the angle between AT and TD. And so we progress as follows. That angle is this one here, the angle between AT and TD. And therefore, we just use um, tan theta is equals to opposite of um, uh, adjacent, which is 4 over 8.54 meters. And be um, you look for the tan inverse of that and between 5.1 degrees. Now, I'm grateful that you have watched my lessons in the past. I'll appreciate your comments if there are any. Uh, look out for the next tutorial, which will be coming in uh, three or four days. And thank you for your viewing.